Bear 1000 here. Today I got something weird that happened to me about 20 minutes ago. Um, a little backstory on that. I was heating something up in the microwave and I was in the bedroom watching some YouTube and uh, well the microwave dinged, it went off. So when that happens, I just always, you know, let my stuff sit in there for a couple minutes, kind of cool down a little bit. And I was doing that, and then I heard it beep again. The microwave doesn't do that. Uh, the one we had before would beep every minute, you know, in case you had to leave something set for so long. I thought, that's strange. So I came out, and... Uh, Opened up the microwave and realized it was still it was running. I looked down and it was pretty much set for another five minutes. Now I researched that microwave, it's only a little over a year old. It's not supposed to do that. It's not when you leave it set. I mean I, I've put stuff in there before and heated stuff up and it um you know, once it's done, it's done. It doesn't beep. It doesn't turn itself back on. It's not on a timer to kick on. I don't know how... Because you can go up and hit one button. One through six. You can hit any of them buttons just once, and that's the timer. That's the time that it'll kick on and start cooking. Like if I hit number three, it'll kick on and run for three minutes and shut off. So I don't know what happened there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple clips here I've got from the security cam of when it shut off. And it was about three minutes later when I came out when I heard the beep again. Um, so I'll fast forward through it three minutes. So you can see that I didn't come out and do anything. And then you'll hear me say, hmm, that's weird or something like that. And then... When I got my stuff out, I walked into the garage to, you know, play it back and, and see what was going on. And sure enough, that's I thought maybe I just hit the wrong button. Maybe I heard a beep and it wasn't there. I don't know. Um, so, and it did. It, it went off because I had it set for three and a half minutes. So why it would shut off and then kick on you know three minutes later on to another five minutes I don't know it's never done that before at microwave's not designed to do that it's not supposed to do that so anyway I'm going to show you the clips and I'll show you a couple times and I'll be back with you
So what do you guys think? Why why would it do that? I mean, there was just one beep, and I didn't realize it was right. I thought, well, that, that microwave never gave a minute beep every minute like our old one did. And like I said, so I just didn't think anything of it. I came out to get my food, and then I realized you see me, you saw me look for a minute, like, what's going on here? <laughs> Excuse me. So, and then I realized, wait a minute, this was running when I opened it. And when I opened it, it was like four minutes, 48 seconds, however long it took me to come out here. So it was set on five minutes. So here's the clip again. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Have you had that happen? Because to me, that's weird. So I'm going to put this under the paranormal stuff. Because uh, I can't see any reason why it would do that. I've tried to replicate it again three different times just now. And it's it won't do it. It's not doing it again. So... Maybe a one-off thing. I don't know why it would just kick on and start over for another five minutes. It's never done that before. Not It's not supposed to. So, Shea Bear, the myth, man, alleged I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you, see you in the next one. Uh, hopefully everyone's going to enjoy their Thanksgiving. Eat a lot. Relax. Enjoy your family. Have a great time. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys.